Hey there, folks, and welcome back to the I Am CDB Project. I, of course, am your host, CDB. You are not. And uh, today, we are going to use the Rockwell Model T. And no, I did not buy it. This was uh, sent to me um, by a friend, and so I'm going to give it a go. I did back the uh, project originally, but it kept getting delayed and delayed and delayed, and I finally pulled out. I was like, this thing is never going to come to fruition. And I've been that way about Rockwell, uh, like when they made their first Razor with the Mini Plate 6S or whatever. They sort of stumbled out of the blocks and did poorly, and then they turned it around and, and eventually uh, produced a really nice Razor, redeemed themselves. And on this one, it was much of the same. Even some of the ads were goofy where you saw this crazy lather. If you went back and watched the, the videos, it was just, it was a little kooky and just delay, delay, delay. And I was like, I'm out. Uh, but I got to say, now that I have it in hand, and again, you know, I didn't buy, buy it. A friend sent it uh, to me. It's a good looking razor. Uh, it most closely resembles, of course, the Gillette Fat Boy, the legendary Gillette Fat Boy, and, and there is a look at it. It you know it's very well crafted, uh, as far as I can tell. I don't really see any obvious flaws. The weight is not heavy, heavy as heavy as I would expect. You know the doors open uh, quite easily. It's a butterfly sort of design, adjustable as you see there. I'm going to roll with it on three, just right in the middle. Uh, and we're going to use one of the blades. I'll say on presentation, nice box it came in. Actually, it came in another box with a band around it, but I took that off um, just to make it quicker. Comes with a little razor head protector, some Rockwell blades, which we'll also try. And a nice box, got a sort of a magnetic close, which is a nice touch. I like decent packaging, and this certainly fits the bill. So very, very good on that. Came with a pack of 100 blades and the five in inside, which was nice. Um, you know, the card on operating instruction. So from a pre presentation uh, perspective, very, very uh, nice um, for the price. Um, really no complaints. We're gonna open up our blades here. I've never, I don't think I've ever used a Rockwell blade, so we'll see how that goes. Um, uh, but here's the blade. And I like the fact that it's, uh, I don't think it's glued, or I hope it's not glued. Maybe it is glued. No, I don't think it's glued, so you could get it out pretty easy. And, uh, well, I say I can get it out pretty easy, and then I can't. So, yeah, come loose pretty easy there. And there's no glue on the blade like you'll see on the Astros and so on. And so let's get this blade out and just give it a go. That's just the way we do things here. I will say I'm, I'm fairly impressed with the, the look and feel of the razor. It feels pretty good. Of course, I dropped the blade straight away <laughs> you know this is this is what i do but anyway got the blade in there and of course you tighten it down via the knob here tighten it all the way and again i chose three on the uh, level of aggression i don't know i've seen no reviews on this uh the only thing i know about it is the initial information they sent out when i originally um backed the, the uh kickstarter so i know nothing about it uh, other than we're going to see how it goes. Uh, today, by the way, we're going to use um, something you haven't seen here in a while for a while. Artist Shaving Sandalwood. It's a really nice uh, sandalwood if you like sandalwoods. It's not super earthy. It's really nice. Still using that West Coast Shaving Brush, with that, which I like so much. I'm going to use it for a long time to come just to... Um, just to see how it holds up. You know, it's a $16 brush. I don't think I've ever used a, uh, a synthetic brush many, many days in a row. So I want to do it with, with this one just to see how they hold up. I mean, I've used my other synthetic brushes a ton. Don't get me wrong, but I just decided I'm going to just keep using this over and over and see how it goes. Now, one thing I want to mention, because when I try, when I uh, put a new razor in front of you folks, sometimes invariably, Somebody will come, come on and say, It's in a good tip. I can't do it. Don't ruin your face. Get out. Go somewhere else. We do not care what you think. Ah. 
Anyway, I'm an everyday shaver. And the video on here is not so close that you're going to see a lot of stubble. I will be removing stubble. If you don't like it, get out! Get out! Now with that, I'm <laughs> just trying to have fun today. Anyway, now with that complete, let's let's get on with it. This is a good soap, good sandalwood scent, by the way. Good quality cream, too. A little bit expensive. I think it runs about, I can't remember. It's been a couple of years since I bought. Maybe $25 or something. By the way, I'm out of maca root. I've been through two tubs of this. It is as good as anything. I have used, let me tell you something, folks. This is no exaggeration. I have used two complete tubs of maca root. That's more than any single one product that I have ever used. I have used, I have so many that I tend to rotate. So I, you know, the only other one that I've ever used completely up is top sandalwood. And so I've been through two of these. That's more than any single product that I've ever used. So that lets you know how I feel about Maca Root. Right now, it's on Amazon for about 16 bucks. You can usually get it cheaper, but I think it's worth it. It's good. This cream is good too, however, really nice. Um, but we're gonna give this Rockwell a go and see how it performs. And again, I realize you can't see a lot. I, I don't go three, four days without shaving. I work and therefore I have to shave. I don't have time to uh, go multiple days without shaving unless I'm on vacation or something. And then I usually shave anyway. So every now and then I'll have a few days growth, but it's rare. So sorry, you're not gonna see it. Very nice on three. That feels really nice and smooth. And I can tell you already, again, I'm, I realize I'm probably way late to the game um, because more people have already probably put many videos out on this razor, but you haven't seen mine with the razor. So <laughs> there you go. Anyway, that feels really nice. And what I was going to say is I can tell you already that even on three, this feels more efficient than the fat boy turned all the way up. I mean, that's just my feeling. I don't know. Could be wrong, but it feels nice. Um, the blade feels nice too. No problems with the blade. It doesn't feel rough or anything. So, um, really nice. So, let's continue to see how we do here. That feels good. Nice and smooth. The razor, you know, again, it's got some heft to it, but it doesn't feel crazy heavy. Uh, that was a good pass, and maybe we'll um, maybe we'll open it up and adjust it up a little bit for the next pass, just to just for the sake of trying things out. Um, but that felt good. Um, really, nothing to complain about. And again, for the interest in the interest of full disclosure, this was not sent to me by Rockwell. It was sent to me by a friend who essentially gave it to me. So thank you. Uh, friend for sending it. Anyhow, let's lather up here and get ready for our second pass. And yes, I get it on my shirt. So what? Anyway, I'm in, I'm in a, uh, I guess, a, I'm, you know, playful so, sort of mood. It's Friday. And so, you know, if I'm a little obnoxious, that's just the way it is. Sometimes I'm, in, I'm at, uh, obnoxious, so. Just uh, learn to deal with that or don't. Joy choice. Okay, let's, uh, I'm gonna open up those doors because that's what you typically do when you adjust the fat boy. I don't know if you need to for this one. Uh, we'll move it up to let's say four. Now this one doesn't click like the fat boy does. So if you're used to that click, you know, one, two, it does not do that. Again, Feels very nice. You could definitely feel the blade. So, I mean, I'm I'm certain that this is more aggressive than the, the uh, Fat Boy. The question really for this razor will be, does it stand the test of time like the Fat Boy, which were around, you know, since the 50s or whenever the, they came out. I don't know off the top of my head. I don't recall. 
I knew at one time, but admittedly, my level of, uh, my level of nerd knowledge with <laughs> shaving isn't what it once was. Why am I doing that? I'm I'm going against the grain already on this side when I'm supposed to be doing this. So I'm messing up, but you know, you'll have that. Like I said, I normally do these videos. I don't cut them. Like if I drop something, obviously I don't I won't uh publish the video with you know ten seconds of dead air or something, but usually I leave all the mistakes in and I don't cut them out. I just cut out the parts where either I'm I'm not doing something or it's dead space or something. Uh, so pass two, really, really nice. Um, I would say exceeding ex expectations. And uh, you know, my feeling about Rockwell is, you know, with the two experiences that I've had is they just tend to stumble out of the gate. It feels like they got it right ultimately. And so again, I realize the folks at Rockwell, you know, <laughs> they may not like when I speak with candor the way that I do, and a lot of people don't, and that's okay. I'm still gonna do it anyway. But what I will say is when you convince me, I'm convinced, but I'm not convinced until you convince me. Like I'm not going to just go off what everybody else says, which is what you can be susceptible of doing if you are not careful. Now that I'm not so far entrenched in the shaving community every single day, it really allows me to just give you my organic thoughts as I'm using product. That works best for me, not reading and consuming shave geekery at all times, 24 seven. Then it just happens, folks. I don't care what anybody says. Anybody can be influenced. If you take in enough information, you can change your point of view. Sometimes that's good. Sometimes it's not. But when it comes to, you know, doing these videos where consumers are gonna watch, I wanna to try to give the the most organic reaction that I can. That's my way. Again, it's not gonna be chock full of vendor specifications and the stuff that they want me to pass on. Cause again, Rockwell is not sponsoring this. This was given to me by a friend and I must admit, uh, I like it so far, but you know, we're gonna use this in the coming days and weeks. And I mean, we'll see how it goes. Let's, uh, let's take it all the way up just for the, Last pass uh, goes up to six there. Close it up again. I don't know if you have to open the butterfly doors to adjust it, but that's what you do with the fat boy. So, and so on six, you can definitely feel more blade, but it still feels good. Like it doesn't feel threatening to me. Um, admittedly, however, I use you know razors of all aggression, so I'm not bothered by um, feeling a good deal of efficiency or aggression or, or blade. So take that for what it's worth, but it still feels smooth and that's good. And the blade's working well too. So I don't know who makes these blades, but on this first run, it's pretty good. We'll maybe use this one tomorrow or maybe Sunday uh, again in, in this razor and let you know, you know how it goes, but it um, feels good. Feels good, that would be way I would describe it. Smooth. Um, the metal there just glides pretty well on your face. Again, this is probably redux for a lot of folks who have watched other people. Uh, I don't know what people are saying about this razor. I, I absolutely have no idea. So this is strictly my opinion. And if I'm saying things that's very different from everybody else, then, you know, take it all under advisement. I strongly recommend that you consume a lot of different information, no matter what it is, whether it's on news, from different sources and different points of view on consumer products and so on. You'll be way better off if you do that. Don't just listen to me or any authority or, you know, Badger and Blade. Take in the videos, take in the Badger and Blade and the DFS and the, you know, all the forums and the shape book groups with all the shape geekery and and, you know, and then try it yourself and decide. Um, that's my advice. Uh, I'm, I gotta say, from the perspective of a first run, first run, very, very good. So I tried on three, um, you know, what did I go? Three, four, and five or something like that. 
or three, four, and six, uh, or three, five, and six, I don't remember. Good first run, smooth, no problem with the blade, no problem with the razor, everything worked like it was supposed to, locks up like it's supposed to. Looks good, I don't see any visible flaws, so maybe this is just another instance where Rockwell struggles out of the gate, and I criticize them, and then they come through in the end, because it's been some years since this thing was talked about and the Kickstarter started. It's been a couple of years at least. Uh, so maybe taking that time is is uh, just what it requires, because they seem to, on the basis of this first run, to have put out another nice razor. Um, I don't know, again, what everyone else is saying, but for me and this particular one, uh, I give it a thumbs up. I'm going to use it more, and I will talk about it, you know, each time. And then if you, you should want to purchase one, you know, you can take that under advisement and then sort of figure out what other people are saying and decide if you want to uh, make that purchase or not. The Art of Shaving cream, really, really good. Really good scent. Um, one of the best, in my opinion. And the aftershave to pair it with is, uh, I'm not going to do it now because I'm going to take a shower. Fine. Um, the Santel Absolute. Really good. It's a really good pair um, for this cream, in my opinion. They match up really nice. Uh, and this is a really good aftershave. Again, I'm critical of Fine because when they raise their aftershaves to like 20 bucks and it's like five shipping, 25 is too much for me for most aftershaves. I'm just not going to pay it. If you catch it on sale, get it. Fine makes excellent um, aftershaves. If you can get them for 15 and, you know, if it's coming to your door right at 20, I'm okay. For five bucks more, I'm out. Not going to do it. But they do make good aftershaves. So if you're willing to spend it, go ahead. But I'm going to get mine from Sterling or other places where I can get them for 5 or $10 uh, less. I hate to say that, but it is what it is. And I'm here just to call it like I see it. That's what I'm going to do. And I realize folks won't like it. Can't help you. Anyway, thanks for watching. It's been a good shave, good first run with the Rockwell. So thanks for watching. And hopefully we will see you again soon. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB. You are not. God bless.